So we're, we're here today specifically talking about avian influenza, which has been diagnosed along the West Coast and even uh, in Davis County. Um, avian influenza typically is a virus that's carried by waterfowl. We want to get word out to backyard poultry owners that their birds can be at risk for being exposed to this virus and amplifying this virus. You don't want to mix different types species of birds. So you don't want to mix waterfowl and poultry together. Ducks and chickens and geese and chickens and things like that. Now a lot of people that have backyard birds might have ponds in their backyard that would attract waterfowl. And if they have a pond, which we do not have here, but if they had a pond, you would want to separate your poultry from being able to access the area that waterfowl are going to come in. We'd encourage you not to do that at all, but you certainly don't want direct contact between waterfowl and the poultry or the chickens. The other thing that's really nice about this particular setup is if you look at the fence line that he's got, he has a solid fence, which protects him, uh, his birds from his neighbor's birds, from having direct face-to-face -face contact, so that if his neighbor's birds became ill, that's a nice barrier to prevent that disease from getting right into his birds. The other thing I really like about his setup is that he's got this chicken coop here that's got an overhang on it. That if he needed to, he could corral his birds inside or at least under the overhang if he had a problem with uh, uh, wild birds coming into his yard. He could separate them from that. You don't want to be sharing equipment with your neighbors that have birds, that's a nice way to transmit disease, is by sharing a feeding bucket uh, or a, a, a portable poultry house or something like that. What's the greatest risk to our birds for getting it? I mean, if, since we don't really get migratory birds visiting us, um, would it be potential droppings? You know, there isn't anything you can do that's going to be 100% effective. There's no biosecurity plan that is 100% effective. So is there a risk, the fact that you have birds fly over and have droppings? Yes, there's a risk there. But a far greater risk would be one-on-one -on -one contact with especially waterfowl. Other wild birds could also be a potential, but your waterfowl is, is where we're, we're putting the emphasis because that's your, by far your greatest concern. We want to emphasize the backyard poultry owners to call the Utah Department of Agriculture if you have a sudden die off of uh, several birds out of your backyard flock, or if several birds become ill all at once. Uh, please call us so we can come and investigate.